What is up guys, Andrew with No Excuses TV here, and today we're gonna to talk about how I've been keeping hydrated while I've been trail running. So in the last couple of months, I've been getting kind of back, not back into trail running, I haven't, I've never really been a runner. I ran in high school, we do sprints, and I kind of just get all frustrated when I'm trying to get gain distance, when I'm running for distance. So I started doing trail running in hopes that only seeing about 15 feet in front of me would allow me to continue to run and get farther at running without that running on the road where it's like when I run, if I see a long distance and I don't feel like I'm moving much, I get discouraged mentally, and then I want to quit. So I've not been doing it as consistent as I would like, but I am getting a much, lot farther than I've ever got before. So I'm doing this 5K trail running, like a 5K runner, using it for trails. Um, I've got to, I'm like almost to week seven. The farthest I've ever got was to week three. So a lot of progress, but it's taken me a lot longer to get there because of school and excuses and all that sort of stuff. But I have been had to stay hydrated even when I'm running these short distances. I don't know if it's just the kind of runner I am or who I am as a person I liked to be hydrated, I get cotton mouth throat. I get cotton mouth real easy, and so I've been trying to avoid that with drinking a lot. So the first way that I tried out to stay hydrated was using kind of a handheld, and the, specifically the one that I used was this Osprey one. And so it, the biggest uh, drawback when I was using this was only about eight, eight and a half ounces. But at the beginning, it wasn't no problem because I'm only running like maybe a mile and a half. But as you increase your distance, um, they get a little bit. You know, you're gonna need more water. Uh, I personally am not a huge fan. I don't like when I'm running and I have something in my hand. I don't know. But um, this is not a review. We're, all these products, we're not really reviewing them. We're just kind of talking about my experience with running and that cup of hydration. But yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the handhelds as of right now. It, I just don't like having to run with my hand closed, like, like I'm forcing to close it. Um, I did like um, like all the stuff being held on it, it was enough water at the beginning. Um, but as I started getting more distance and just kind of using it in general, uh, I kind of wanted something different. The second thing that I stepped up to after the handheld was I started using a kind of like a running band. Now this particular one is a naked running band. Um, it has a bunch of compartments. Again, we're not reviewing this. That'll be in a separate video. But waist holds everything close and it keeps me hands free. Um, I started out with just using the eight and a half ounce water bottle that I had from the Osprey handheld. And then I moved up to this water bottle in my ultimate direction. Um, it holds half a liter and so a ton of water. And I was kind of worried that this would be, the, it would like stretch the band a little bit too much. Uh, band still held up great. It's holding that water in there. It's got its places on it for trekking poles when I get that far. Um, so far, uh, I've kind of come back to this one a lot. And the last kind of hydration thing that I use was actual hydration pack. This one in particular was from Orange Mud. Um, they have, I, the, one, the best thing that I like about this is the ability to carry so much stuff. Um, so in that naked band, I would carry basically keys, phone, and water. Um, and I didn't, I haven't ran long enough to get nutrition, but it, it starts getting a little tight even with that stuff. So longer trip runs would not be beneficial. Um, but this trail pack has spots here for if I want more than my bladder water. So it holds this bladder that it has, uh, holds a liter. I have spots up here for more hydration if I needed it. Um, and they have, on both sides, they have these like foam pouches that you can kind of fit your stuff into, which was pretty neat. They've got bands on top. Um, it, it, I like the idea of it. I really want, I really, what I really want is a run with a pack on. Like even with the short distance, I like all, I like the ability to have all this stuff on me. Um, but my problem that I run into is I think my body shape right now, currently, doesn't fit well for this orange mud. I, I've had some issue getting it to fit, um, but again, that's in another video. But this hydration pack is, I think, it, the, when these long distances and when you're having to pack in more than just water and like a phone and keys, you, uh, this kind of like a must, must have. Like, I love these things. Um, I, I really want to get more of these and try them out along with the waistbands and the handhelds. But right now, the one that I keep going back to this Naked Man, this is my kind of go-to hydration. And notice there's not any hydration with it. It's just a storage pouch, essentially, really, um, that I've been using a lot. So storage pouch, 
Naked Band with the Ultimate Direction water bottle right now is my go-to for hydration. Um, so what have you tried out? Have you tried Have you tried the Naked Band? Have you tried the Orange Mud Pack or the Osprey handheld? Let me know in the comments below if you've tried something different, what you like, what you think is beneficial for different types of run, whether long or short. And uh, make sure you like this video. We're gonna subscribe. We're gonna have some. I'm gonna review all these products in some future videos. We'll pop over and I have some climbing stuff that we've been looking at, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.